Greetings to everyone across this nation and around the world. This is Raymond Mayfield coming with Raymond Mayfield Ministries with you today. It's great to be on this program today and share with you the good news. I want you to look at 1 Peter chapter 5 and uh, verse number 6. Humble yourself there under the mighty hand of God and he will exalt you in due time. And then it says, casting all of your care or your anxieties upon him, for he careth for you. That's one of the great promises in the word of God. If we'll humble ourselves before God, he will lift us up. If we will walk in the, in the ways of God and do that which is right, and we'll cast all of our anxiety and all of our cares up on him because he cares for us. And I'm glad that he does care for us. He loves us very much and he wants to touch you today. He wants to be a blessing to your life today. Remember what's going on in your life. There's a lot of things that's happened uh, in this, this year, 2020. There's been many things, almost historical, of all the things that have happened. There's one thing that's consistent, though. God never changes, and he'll be the same. And regardless of what your situation is today, God wants to heal you. If you'll draw nigh unto God, he will bless you. It says in James chapter 4 and verse number 7, Submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. That's a very good promise today if we'll just submit ourselves to God and obey God and if we'll resist the devil and every temptation that has that he will try to bring us, he will flee from you. And if we will draw nigh to God, the next verse says in verse number 8, if we will draw nigh to God, he will draw nigh unto us. And then he says, to this is Christian people he's talking to, he says, cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. And I thank God today that we can uh, humble ourselves before God and we can resist the devil. The old enemy brings a lot of things into our lives if we, if we allow him to. And you know, he always is looking for an open door. Remember, we're in, under the mighty, uh, mighty uh, anointing of God in this day and time. We're living in the very last days. Uh, I believe we're living close to the coming of the Lord. And I tell you, if there's ever a time where we need to draw nigh to God and, and cleanse ourselves and humble ourselves to God, and cast all of our anxieties and all of our fears up on him and trust in him alone. He will lead you out and he bring you to victory after victory because this is a thing that even overcomes the world, even our faith. It's our faith that brings us through these difficult hours and times. Uh, if you're going through this pandemic and you're suffering with COVID right now, I want to extend my prayers toward you today. In Jesus' name, by your stripes, we are healed. I pray for all this pandemic that's touching all this world and around the nation. It seems like it's an amazing thing that just keeps on going. Some have said this may go on for decades. Uh, all I know is, for folks, I want to tell you, God is in control of everything. There's not one thing that he is not in control with. If you'll trust in him and lean up on the everlasting arms of God, he'll bring you through every difficult situation. And trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not to your own understanding, but all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. Uh, I think uh, I'm in my uh, new office today. This is the first time I've broadcast today from this studio. I haven't got it decorated just yet today, but I'm thankful that I'm coming to you today in a new situation, and I have a, a better situation where I can communicate with you. And thank you for listening to the broadcast and all the things that I do. I'm on several outlets across the, across the network. I'm on Twitter, and I have a lot of followers on Twitter. And I have also a lot of followers on Instagram and LinkedIn. And th those are other places you can find me. And I want to tell you what, it's my pleasure to be able to bring the Word of God to you every day. Just remember, if your situation seems too difficult and you don't know what to do, there's always a way you can get out of that, and that is by just kneeling before God and humbling yourself before God 
and he will lift you up and he will exalt you in due season. He will bring you through and he will bring you out. He'll deliver you if you'll trust in him with all of his heart. He is a faithful God. He is faithful in every situation. And thank you so much for listening to the broadcast today. I'll talk to you again real soon.